Jason, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I want to start out with something. You and Jalen Brown were the first all-star wings for the Celtics since Ray Allen and Paul Pierce. And what was it like to share that moment with him? And, uh, you know, what's your relationship like with Jalen in general? It was pretty cool. Um, you know, it's always fun to enjoy all-star weekend with a teammate. Um, you know, it was my second time in the big game. Uh, I was fortunate enough last year to go with Kimba um, and, you know, this year to go with JB. So um, the experience in itself is always um, a blast. And then to just enjoy it with a teammate of yours um, makes it that much better. How is it different? What's what's different about being there with a teammate? Obviously, we see each other every day um, in a Celtics environment and um, just to kind of be there together, but with 22 other different teammates. Um, and especially, you know, this year it was his first time. So I was just excited for him, you know, to kind of enjoy it um, as, much, as much as he could, even though it wasn't, you know, the normal All-Star weekend. But, um, and then we were on different teams, you know, so we get to play each other. And uh, like I was on different teams last year with Kendall. So, you know, just, uh, you know, having that little competition within itself uh, makes it just a little more fun. Yeah, you're not used to playing against each other. That must have been, must have been exciting. So clearly, you know, you mentioned this year being different. Um, what has this season been like in terms of dealing with COVID and, and the strangeness of it all versus what a normal season is? Oh, that's like night and day. Um, from the standpoint of the beginning of the season, uh, how traveling has been different, you know, playing in these arenas and, um, you know, virtually empty for the, for the most part. Um, and then we went through a rough patch where, you know, throughout the NBA guys were testing positive. I did myself. Um, and there was certain, there were three or four games in a row. We didn't have enough people to play. So we had to postpone games. Um, so there was a period of uncertainty of knowing, you know, we're, you know, will we get the chance to play tomorrow? Will we not? Um, and then, you know, guys coming back from testing positive and trying to integrate them and get their body back on. Uh, it's, it's definitely been uh, an adjustment for everybody. And I think that's very noticeable throughout the league and everyone's record for the most part, uh, you know, because we're, we're not used to this. Totally. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling better. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's serious. Um, and, you know, even for, you know, top athletes in the world, you know, it, it, it affects them differently. But, you know, I definitely, you know, felt the effects of it, you know, breathing wise when I first came back. Um, and I still do to a certain extent now, but um, it has gotten better. And, um, you know, hopefully it continues to progress that way. I'm glad to hear that. What a, you know, as athletes are used to dealing with injuries, but then you toss this into the mix and it's just a whole other, whole other game. But um, I have a question about playing in, as you said, in the empty arenas. Um, I went to the Big East tournament and it's different on TV, you know, TV sort of flattens the lack of a crowd, but being there, how do you get the energy up? Like, do you, do you feed off the crowd in a way because the basketball doesn't seem to have the product doesn't seem to have suffered, you know, like you guys are really bringing it. And um, how do you do that without a full crowd? Um, I think that um, we've been doing it for a while now, you know, dating back to the first couple, first games in the bubble, you know, we haven't had fans and, and I don't know how long, and now you see they're starting to open up certain arenas to, you know, certain capacity, which makes a difference, um, you know, we for sure miss the fans and playing in front of a crowd. Um, but honestly, you know, now I've been so used to playing in front of, you know, very small crowds or, or no crowds at all. I kind of forget what it's like to play in front of a 19,000 um, seat arena filled with everyone. Well, I, I hope you remember soon for everybody's sake. Um, Jason, I have a very serious question to ask you. You had a tweet about Paul Pierce being inducted potentially into the Hall of Fame. And um, I'm going to need you to break that down for me because there's emoji in there that could have gone a number of different ways. Um, 
You know, just having a little fun. I, I've known Paul since I've been drafted. Um, you know, someone that, you know, before COVID, he used to come around pretty often and, uh, you know, come to the games, come back in the locker room. I've been out with him eating a couple of different occasions. So uh, someone that I'm, you know, pretty close with uh, and has, has spent some time with. Um, I just was kind of referring to some of his takes on, on ESPN, um, you know, some of the, his ideas and theories that he has uh, can be questionable at times. And I know people give him a hard time for that, but nonetheless, um, you know, what he accomplished, what he brought to the game, uh, you know, his, the, his stamp that he left, uh, you know, can't be denied. He was, he's for sure a Hall of Famer and, you know, one of my favorite players. That's so great. Uh, now I have to ask you about your subway campaign. Um, you and Draymond are popping up in all these ads. Did you shoot those remotely? No, we actually shot them in um, Anaheim in Los Angeles. Well, I guess it's not Los Angeles. So California uh, before the season. Um, it was a it was a long day to say the least, but they came out great. Uh, you know, I had a blast doing it. Um, you know, I think the best part is, you know, being in those environments and doing things like that. It may, it may seem long at the time, but, you know, to see the finished product and to see it come on TV and to have my friends and family and people on, you know, social media react to it and, and talk about it um, is, is for sure worth it. And why is your sub better? Um, because it has bacon. <laughs> that's everybody's favorite line uh you know but I think that's true I I love bacon and I think the best part about the, my sub is uh it's very genuine like that's I grew up eating Subway and that was my go-to sandwich and that's my favorite part of kind of partnering with them um is that they let me create my own sandwich and that that is the sandwich I've been eating my entire life since I was a kid and to see it come to life and, you know, people call me Bacon Tatum uh, on Twitter and stuff, um, it was pretty cool. So, you know, I, that's, that's my favorite part, just seeing things that you sort of create or, you know, things like that kind of come to life and have other people react and enjoy it. So you're clearly, uh, you're clearly a pretty good actor. You really, you shine in those spots. You think that's in your future? You're gonna pop up in any, in any Space Jam movies? Yeah, I think that's the that's the next step. Um, you know, I, I have for sure gotten a lot better with my acting skills from my first kind of cameo when I was a rookie. Um, you know, I've come outside of my shell a little bit more, and um, you know, one day I want to I want to be in a TV show or or you know make an appearance in a movie. Uh, you know, one day down the line.